10 Things You Need to Know About the Galaxy S22 Before Buying Samsung's new flagship phones have been announced and are now starting to ship. The S21 model was one of the most popular phones to come out in 2021, but how does the S22 stack up? In this video, we're going to take a look at the features of the S22 so you can decide if it's the right device for you. But before we start, be sure to like this video and subscribe so you won't miss any of our future tech videos. We have a lot of smartphone videos with more on the way that you won't want to miss. Hello, technophiles. Welcome to Tenzi's Tech. I'm Scott Leffler, and this is our list of the 10 things you need to know before buying an S22. Number 10. Absence of 144Hz Refresh Rate In a previous video, we mentioned how we hoped the S22 would have a 144Hz refresh rate on the display. Unfortunately, it looks like they'll stick to 120Hz for the time being. Anyone who's a heavy gamer would have appreciated for the phones to have upgraded to a higher refresh rate, like Nebula and Asus phones. It's already been a couple of years since it's become a standard for other Android flagship phones to have a 144Hz refresh rate. It doesn't necessarily leave much to be desired. It's only noticeable for serious gaming, but for both the main model and the Plus variant to not have it just seems like a cut back on production costs from Samsung's end. However, the S22 line does introduce more control over the refresh rate, being able to turn it down all the way to 10 Hz compared to the previous generation's 48 Hz, which will help with the battery life, which is probably going to be needed. Yeah, that's foreshadowing. Number 9. Affordable Prices In terms of prices, Samsung did not disappoint. They'll keep the status quo and didn't make any increases in the prices, with the base model, the plus model, and the ultra model being $799, $999, and $1199, respectively. While a decrease would have been welcomed, considering the pandemic is still ongoing and the economy doesn't show any signs of returning to normal anytime soon, we should at least be happy they didn't go back to the S20 price model. We hope Samsung will make the next generation a little more accessible overall and lower their prices by an additional $1 to $200 across the board. Even if it seems likely, we hope the top-end market becomes a little more accessible. Number 8. Expandable Storage Expandable storage has not seen a return in the S22 series, which is a big letdown for some users. This feature went away with the S21, and some customers were certainly hoping it would return, and the lack of this feature has been keeping them from buying a new Samsung phone. However, it looks like they'll have to wait a little while longer, but I wouldn't get my hopes up. It doesn't look like Samsung has any plans to add expandable storage in the S series models and pushing customers to spend more money for higher internal memory capacity. It's really a shame that Samsung is going this route, and the photographers and videographers will have to look for a solution elsewhere. Their high memory needs won't be met here. An odd decision if you think about it since the phones will shoot video in 4K and 8K, which have very high storage needs. If it's any consolation, Samsung still offers expandable storage on their A-series phones, at least for now. Number 7. New Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 Chip If you're following the smartphone industry, you would have seen that some smartphones started adopting the new Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chip. The same goes for Samsung, who also implemented it into their S22 lineup, bringing with it various benefits. According to Qualcomm, the new chip would increase the CPU performance by 20% and the GPU by 30%. This will make a huge difference when gaming, making the lack of the 144Hz screen all the more painful. It's also supposed to save 30% more power, further enhancing Samsung's already great battery life. Other than that, even transferring rates will increase, allowing for lightning-fast 10 gigabits per second download and 3 gigabits per second upload. Knowing that Samsung and Qualcomm are in close connection with one another, it came as no surprise that the chip was included in the new lineup. Unfortunately, only the American model comes with the Qualcomm chip, as the European ones still use Samsung's own Exynos chip. Number 6. Faster Charging Speed Like any Samsung flagship device, the charger is no longer included as part of their efforts to go green. The Galaxy S22 Plus and S22 Ultra now support 45-watt fast charging 
via USB-C, while the base Galaxy S22 settles for 25 watt fast charging. The original 45 watt power adapter from Samsung can be bought separately. If you don't like cables, the Galaxy S22 series also supports wireless charging at 15 watts. This is a huge victory for technophiles. We can finally enjoy the shorter charging times 45 watts offers. One slight annoyance is that we have to go buy the charger, which Samsung sells for 50 bucks. When you take into account the additional packaging and transportation costs, it seems this is really to keep Samsung's cost down and not so much about going green. Number 5. A New Design Right off the bat, you'll notice several similarities between the look of the Galaxy S22 and the Galaxy S21. Both the S22 and S22 Plus have a contoured design that blends the camera module seamlessly into the side of the phone. It's a clean look and we're glad to see Samsung bring it back for 2022. If anything, the design feels more refined this time around. The S22 is also a bit smaller than the S21, which isn't inherently bad or good since it's all about your preference, but this does mean your old cases aren't going to fit this new phone. While the phones are smaller in all measurements, the reduction in the thickness and width is so small it's almost negligible. The main difference is the length. The S22 is 0.3 inches shorter and the Plus model is 0.1 inches compared to last year's models. This should make it easier to hold and operate in one hand. These new Galaxy phones come in black, white, green, and pink gold, but if you buy directly from Samsung, you can also get it in graphite, cream, blue, and violet, so there are plenty of color options. Number 4. Dedicated AMD Graphics Although having the Qualcomm 8 Gen 1 chip would boost S22's performance by a lot, it wouldn't improve its graphics nearly as a dedicated graphics chip would. Samsung and AMD's partnership has finally borne some fruit. The S22 series has a GPU based on the RDNA 2 architecture. Considering that this is the same architecture used in the GPUs of the PS5 or the Xbox Series 10, things are getting interesting for those who want to squeeze the graphics power of this device. This is finally giving an identity push to Samsung, the phone with the insane GPU. Maybe this will finally incentivize mobile game developers to make more graphically demanding games, and we'll finally see a revolution in the mobile game sphere. And not to beat a dead horse, but wouldn't that be amazing if it paired this with a 144Hz display? Number 3. Battery Life Maybe. While a smaller phone can be nice, it also means that there's less room for things like expandable storage and, yes, bigger batteries. Well, with the S22, the batteries have taken a hit in the new generation. The new phones have their batteries cut by 300 mAh, which is about 6% on the Plus and 8% on the standard S22. We have no idea why Samsung did this. This is the only specification that's taken a significant step back. The only real question is if the smaller battery translates into shorter battery life. Some earlier consumer testing suggests that it will still last at least a full day, but it all depends on how you use your phone. Still, we would have liked to have seen an upgrade here, similar to what Apple did with the iPhone 13. It was one of the biggest battery upgrades ever in an iPhone, with the Pro Max variant being able to last well over 10 hours. And with Samsung's A-series phones nearly all having batteries that are at least 25% bigger than Plus and 35% bigger than Base S22. So if battery life is a big priority for you, the S22 is probably not going to cut it. Number 2. New Cameras Samsung Galaxy S21 had a good set of cameras, but the S22 doesn't really improve on it at all. In fact, they might be a bit worse. The S22 still has a triple camera array with wide, standard, and telephoto lenses. On the S21, the telephoto had a 64-megapixel sensor, and the other two lenses both had 12-megapixel sensors. However, on the S22, the standard lens is bumped up to 50 megapixels, and the telephoto drops to 10 megapixels. The selfie camera is still 10 megapixels, and unfortunately didn't get the 32-megapixel selfie camera from the S21 FE. To put it simply, the S22 has a reduction in overall resolution from last year. 
However, this will allow you to see improvements in your standard camera and have a wider field of view if you shoot 8K video, but you won't be able to zoom in as much as you can on the S21. Furthermore, most of the camera quality comes down to graphics processing, so while the hardware may have taken a hit on the spec sheet, the new chips may more than make up for it. Number 1. Display Yes, we've been unhappy with the lack of 144Hz display, but to be fair, that's really nitpicking, and we have to admit that the S22 has a great display. The new phones sport a 6.1-inch and 6.6-inch displays for the base and plus, respectively. The plus is fitted with a blinding 1,750 nits of brightness, while the base model is stuck with 1,300 nits, but that's still brighter than an iPhone 13 Max Pro's 1,200 nits. Samsung also improved upon their Dynamic AMOLED screen in the S21 and their new Dynamic AMOLED 2X, which they claim offers even better color and HDR performance. Samsung has always had amazing displays and the S22 doesn't disappoint, so it deserves the number one spot on this list. So what do you think about our list? Are you planning to upgrade to the S22? And are there any other key points we missed? Let us know in the comments below and while there, be sure to like the video and share it with your friends and family. If you like this video, you would also like these other videos. And if you've already seen them, then be sure to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss our future tech videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.